Hey gang, today we're going to do for our jam session tune or jam night, whatever we're calling it. I think we're calling it a jam session. We're going to do Mercy, Mercy Me by Marvin Gaye, and it doesn't get any smoother than this one. Uh, it's just a great, smooth R&B song. A lot of fun to play the rhythm, a lot of fun to play the lead as well. We'll do the rhythm this week, and then uh, coming up soon, we'll do the lead. Uh, there's a lot of scope for for creativity because you can play the basics and those are fun But then it's all in the same key except that weird stuff at the end uh, It's all in the same key. So it gives you a lot of scope to play around without sounding too out there um, So I want to show you the basics or the basics of what I was doing And then I'll show you how to kind of go off on your own and some ideas that you can use We'll do rhythm this week like I said and, and coming up. We'll do lead Okay, as always, gang, if you like this one, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for a couple of these every week. Okay, we'll see you in just a second. Okay, gang, uh, for this rhythm part of the lesson, uh, I just want to give you an idea of what are the chords that I'm playing, what are some of the things that you can do, and that's about it. All right, so the um, I've written out some of the voicings onto tab that's in the link in the description. You can download that. But first things first, let's go over the chords to the song. I'm going to go over the chords to the main riff, which are, um, uh, and then I'll show you what I did. Uh, in playing it, and then I'll show you some ideas for where you can go. All right, so uh, for that, we've got the chords are essentially, and I don't really think about the names of the chords for this because I'm only playing parts of them, as you'll see. But uh, you can think of it as playing an E major 7 to an F, not F, C sharp minor, sorry, E major 7 to C sharp minor. Or you can play a minor seventh there, it doesn't matter. To uh, E major, but we're gonna play an F sharp in the bass. Okay, and for those of you who know, F sharp minor is a related chord to A major, so essentially it's just really an F sharp minor chord, but we're only gonna play strings four, three, and two, so we'll keep that as A major, okay? And then an A major with a B and a bass. That has a beautiful suspended flavor. Really love that. All right. So that is that. And what I'm playing is, and the main part of the song, is this. And that is only that E major 7th, but on the strings 4, 3, and 2. So that would be 6, 4, 4. Two times. 
and then this. So that's a C sharp minor, but again, only on strings 4, 3, and 2, and that would be 6, 6, 5. All right. Now, the next one is that A major, right, or the a, F, F sharp minor, either one you can think of, but here I like to think of A major because that's all I'm playing. Okay, and then, of course, the A sharp, or the A major with the B in the bass stays the same. Now, if you're not playing with a bassist, you better put in that that bass note, that B in the bass, right? So that's um, just, again, that's just 7, 6, 5. But if you put the B in the bass, that's a 7 on the 6th string, right? 7th fret. Okay, that's it. And then it's just repeated again. And I kind of think of that like a slidey train, okay? So the right hand is going... That's the train part, and the slide is, I'm sliding into most of these chords. Alright, so that's that. The second set of voicings that I played were these right here. And I rather like them. So, um, I've got, again, I've gotten those written, I've got those written down, but I'm playing in a little bit higher register here, and we're going to start out with an E, f e major ninth. So here I'm playing the fifth string as well. I've got seven, six, eight, and seven. It's a little bit of a tricky chord to finger, so practice that one if you're not used to it. You can just substitute that at E flat major 7th, or sorry, E major 7th right up here, if you want. Okay, second one is an A, is a C sharp minor 7th. Okay, and so on the 4, 3, and 2 strings, that's just 9, 9, 9. Okay, and then we're going to play an F sharp minor 9th. I'll give you the root, but I usually don't play the fifth string. I usually, again, just play four, three, and two. And uh, however, I will give I will give you that root on the fifth string. The root on the fifth string is on the ninth fret, but on the four, three, two, it's seven, nine, nine. So we went from nine, nine, nine to seven, nine, nine. And this one is 7-9-7. Seven, seven. That's that B suspended chord. Hey, presto changeo. I have a really red guitar now. Uh, sorry, folks. I lost power on my computer, and it came back a little bit different colored uh, on the video. So in any event, uh, let's finish this off. So I think we just did that E major ninth to C sharp minor 7th to F sharp major 9th I'm sorry minor 9th to A B suspended 4th all right so that's another option you can do now on any of these chords that you're playing one fun thing that I like to do is kind of like I don't know it's kind of a Hendrixy thing to do I always think of this as a Hendrixy thing to do anyway is because I have my pinky free I'm only using three strings heck you know so most of the time I have my finger, my pinky finger free. I'm going to look for for notes that I can play with this pinky when I'm playing this chord. So for example, instead of just playing this, maybe I'll play something like this. I'm not saying that sounded great, but those are just things I can play around with, right? Same thing for the next chord. I'll have my pinky free, so I'm looking to play that. It turns out any note in the E major scale is a good candidate, and the ones in the E major pentatonic 
are going to be really good notes too. So uh, you can try those, all right? And it works for all of them, right? So this one's kind of tough because I'm using all four of my fingers here. But um, this one, the C minor, minor seventh, I can play a minor ninth. Right? All those are fair game. And then how about the F sharp minor ninth? I can play this. Not sure about that one, but that doesn't sound bad. And the same thing for this B. All those are nice, and if you don't overdo it, you can add a note in here, uh, in there or two, and have a lot of fun with it. All right? So there you have it. There's the rhythm. Uh, I gave you the main part of it and some different options. Oh, what I didn't do is I didn't show you the, the stuff in the beginning and at the end. So at the beginning... That's how the whole thing begins, and I just think of that as playing an, uh, an A-flat major chord, right? Again, on a 4, 3, and 2 strings. Starts out there, and then just goes up a, a fret, a single fret, or a half step to that A major, and then starts in with the whole riff. At the end, there's a couple of different things that go on there, but the main thing is over that sax solo, it's exactly the same chords, except you just shifted up a half fret, right? So instead of playing an E major 7th, you're playing an F major 7th. D minor. B flat major. B flat major with C in the bass. All right, so that's what's going on there, the beginning and at the end, and uh, all right. Well, I think that gives you a lot to jam on and have a lot of fun with, okay? So lots of different options for the chords. All right, gang, well, there you have it. There's the rhythm and some other options for you to play along, and uh, have a ball with this one. Have a ball playing the rhythm. As I said, next time we're going to do the lead to this one. Equally fun, maybe even more fun. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a lot of fun to play along with this one. Smooth, man. All right. We'll see you on down the road.